if you don't run, do you think this time around uh, that you will have a more forceful opinion in the primaries? Because that is when people will decide who are standard bearers. Their standard bearer is the reality show star. Yeah. And our standard bearer will either be a progressive or someone who is more beholden to donors yeah. or someone in between. So if for example, Bernie Sanders were to run again, if you're not running, would you support him? You know, I don't know where we'll be in 2020. It's a it's a long time off. I, I supported and helped Bernie long before I ever thought I'd be in politics. I used to go up, uh, went up to uh, uh, to do town halls with Bernie uh, to talk about what was happening to working families. Uh, I used to call in on Bernie's uh, when he had a, a radio show for a period of time. Um, but I don't know where we'll be in 2020. I don't think Bernie knows where we'll be in 2020. So I don't know what Bernie's going to do, and I don't. I don't want to be in a position to push Bernie to do anything. What I see right now really is that as Democrats, as progressives, we can't make politics a once every four year thing. It has got to be an everyday thing. Donald Trump has not been in office, what, 150 days yet? It's, it's less than that. He's got a long, long time to go or at least the Republicans do, Republican majority in the House, Republican majority in the Senate. The way I see it is, man, we gotta be all in on the fights that are occurring right now. The things they're doing right now. I, I worry because it is, because it's healthcare, because it's this budget. I worry about what's happening over the Environmental Protection Agency. I worry about what's happening at the Department of Education and how we need to exercise Oversight, and I, I want to use oversight not just in a technical Washington sense, but in a in a democratic, small d democratic sense that we watch, that that we that we ask our government, we demand that our government be responsive to us. But that means being focused on the fights that are in front of us right now. We cannot sit back and just start the speculation on what's going to happen three and a half years from now. So then.